Hey there! In the previous part of the Panda 3D series, we rigged our model, our slug model. Today we'll see how to use inverse kinematics, or IK for short, to give ourselves more control over how the bones move. So let's open our selected blend file in Blender. Let's go to edit mode, left view, and select the second bone from the right. Let's duplicate the bone, so Shift D, and move it along the Y axis. This is going to be a controller bone. Now go to the bone tab and rename the bone body underscore IK for inverse kinematics. We now want to unparent the bone. You can use the relations panel in the bone tab. Just click on the X to the right of the parent's name to unparent or you can hit Alt plus P and select clear parent. Either way will do. We move the controller bone away from the bone that we duplicated so it's no longer connected, which you can see in the relations panel. Not connected. Now select the end of the controller bone and move it along the Y axis. This way will make the controller bone bigger and easier to quickly identify as a controller bone. So G Y. Maybe a bit more. G Y. Now go to Pose mode and select the third bone from the right, so the one after the bone you duplicated. Now go to the Bone Constraints tab, which is here, and add an inverse kinematics constraint. So add bone constraint, and now Inverse Kinematics. Set target to armature and bone to our controller bone. Which is body IK. The chain length tells us how many bones to the left, so parents, should be influenced. By default it's set to zero, which means all parents should be influenced. If you now select and move the controller bone, G, you can see how the parent bones are moving along. Now hit escape to cancel the operation. Our model is fully rigged, we have the inverse kinematics constraint in place, but we want the whole model to move along with bones, which it doesn't. This means the armature must exert influence on the mesh. So we have to apply the armature to the mesh. To do that, go to object mode and select first the mesh and then the armature thus making the armature the active object. Then hit Ctrl P to set the parent and select with automatic weights. This way we assign the particular bones to their corresponding portions of the mesh to be controlled. Now we we'll go to pose mode, select the controller bone 
and move it around. You can now see that the whole mesh is moving along. Hit Escape to cancel the operation. And now select some of the tentacle bones one by one and rotate them. Escape. As you can see, the mesh is moving along. Hey guys, my name is Kamel and I'm a Python programmer. And today I would like to talk about my book, Gear Programming with Python and Kitty. Now in this book, we're creating a project from scratch. <laughs> oh, no, no. Now here you can see some samples from the book. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this book, you will find the links to it down in the description below. So, thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you will have at least as much fun reading my book as I had writing it. So, see you around! Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.